I used a tape machine or that handheld tape dispenser for the whole house, but you don't need one of those. You can do tape by hand, and this is how. You just put some mud on there, and then you get your roll of tape, and then you just stick the tape on, try to get it right over the, the seam of the tape, over the seam of the sheetrock. Stick it on, and then you're wiping, I'd say 95%. Off from underneath the tape. You don't want to wipe too much because then you're taking it all out. You just want to smooth it out, not make it lumpy. And there you go, that's it. You do that over and over and over until the whole house is covered. and your corner tape. Okay, so we got the tape on. Now I'm getting ready for the second coat. We're gonna start mixing these buckets. I like to add some water, mix it up real good. Makes it easy to work with. You never want it to be too stiff. You need it to be workable. So I add a decent amount of water, probably like a water bottle full to a full bucket. Give it a good mix and then it's good to go. Okay, I got the second coat. I'm starting the second coat on the walls, on all the seams. And now, I'm gonna do the ceiling.
today I'm just finishing the second corners. Now I have to do the bedrooms. Just uh, I did all the, you can see right here. I did the lower as high as I could reach. Now I gotta get out in the stilts and do all the tops. This, this whole side of the house is the eight foot. And the laundry room there is eight foot and the rest is all high. So that's all done. I did the laundry room first this morning because we actually, I didn't get the spackle yet because Dave did the tile. So I had to wait for the tile to dry and everything. So this was the first coat of spackle in here. So we got the fan running and hopefully this dries later and I can get a second coat because I would like to sand all this. Well, probably not Friday, so probably Monday. It won't be dry enough to sand Friday, so we'll wait over the weekend, let everything dry completely. 